friends. Okay, so I started my live video. The second I started my live video, I got a phone call. Why is it that every time I go live, someone tries to call me on my phone? It drives me up the wall. <laughs> Anyways, cheers to you this weekend. I'm not drinking. Have you guys ever tried this? Spindrift, it's sparkling water. And it has a little bit of real juice in it and no sugar and no sweetener or anything like that. Hi, Zoe. Hi, Karen. So I know. Isn't that the truth, Karen? Okay, so I am um, going to do some patriotic makeup because it is Memorial Day here in the United States. And I have my blue and white plaid shirt on. You guys might recognize this shirt because I wore it in the video that was in Times Square. That was so exciting. And so I thought <clears throat> what I would do is we will, um, I'll use, I already have my foundation on and I already have my brows on because I didn't want to take the time to do that. And so what I'm going to use are these colors right here on my sh on my eyes there's a lot of them okay so i'm going to use light sapphire shadow then i'm going to use smoked topaz and lapis glitter and denim denim and then i'm going to use um the new platinum glitter as well so the lapis glitter and the platinum glitter are brand new shadow colors that we just came out with and then I'm going to use Cherry Blush for my blush because it's red. And then you guys get to choose, if you stay with me until I get my lips on, you guys get to choose. <clears throat> my hair is driving me nuts today. Okay, so you guys get to choose either Hurricane Red or, because it's red, white, and blue, or I could do a bold blue look with um, Midnight Muse and Blue Jay. I could do that too. Um, my preference is red, but you know, that's, that's what I would normally do if I was doing a red, white, and blue look because I've got the blue eyes. So I would do the Hurricane Red. So I probably will do that just because I think it'll look better. So I'm gonna go ahead with my eyes and because of my age and because I have a hooded lid, this this really fun, terrible skin right here that you get as you get older, and when you pull on it, it doesn't like snap back as easily as it used to when you were younger. So you have to, I have to be aware of that when I do my eye makeup. And so the first thing that I wanna do is always bring more light to my eyelid first. So because sapphire, I mean not sapphire, light sapphire shadow is very, very light blue. It almost is white. It has a white base to it. I am going to put it on my eyelids. Okay. And I use a brush. This is cream to powder shadow. So you put just a little bit on, it blends like a powder, but it doesn't have any fallout like a powder. Okay, now you can already see the difference that this eye is lighter than this eye, right? This, this lid is lighter than this lid, and it doesn't look really blue, does it? It looks just kind of like a soft white, and that's kind of what I want. So then up here, right under my lid, I'm gonna put a little bit of it, of it as well. And it's hard for me to see in my, <clears throat> in my phone, so I'm gonna grab a mirror here and do it so you can see it. I'm very careful to do a really clean line right up underneath my brow. Okay, can you see that? See the difference between this eye and this eye already? Isn't that amazing? Just by putting light, because light attracts. So when you have deep set eyes or hooded eyes, you want light to be brought to the areas that you want to stand out. 
and I want my upper here to stand out. I don't want this to stand out. This part is gonna go darker and then I want this part to go lighter. So I'm gonna use that as my base. So that's light sapphire. I know, isn't it a cool mirror? Look at this. It's, it's, I travel with it too, it folds up and it doesn't turn on until you put your face close to it. And when you put it down or walk away from it, it turns back off and then you just charge it every once in a while. It's called a Simple Human. That's the brand, Simple Human Mirror. Okay, so hi, Lori. Hi, Christy. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I've got the light sapphire on. Now, I want some deepness to it, and I don't want to just do blue. I do have brown eyes, which is really good because blue is the opposite of the color wheel, so it's going to really make my brown show up. But I want a little bit of deepness right here that's not all blue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of smoked topaz. And what I do is where the worst part of my overhang is. And you guys know where your, your, you know your eye. And if you have an overhang, you look straight in the mirror and just put a dot right where the overhang is. And then I use a fluffy brush and I kind of go like a windshield wiper. And I'm, I'm going... Hope you're keeping well. I'm keeping very well, actually. Thank you. I can't complain. Okay, so I go in a windshield wiper and then I kind of go in a circular motion. And I always make sure that I go up on the edges, not down. Okay, so now you guys can see the difference. See how this eye is already lifted up compared to this eye? It's already lifted up. Now I could just wear this if I wanted to. I mean, I could just put some mascara on and a little bit of eyeliner and I'd be good to go. Talking about eyeliner, what I normally do at the very beginning of my makeup, which is right about now, is I use the pencil and I use a, a flutter by lash shield and I lift my lashes up like this which is really hard to do in the mirror. Um, I don't think you can see me if I go, if I do this. Let's see. How about if I just do this? I'll lift it with my finger. And I grab my lashes and do a tight line. I always make sure I get it really good in the corners. Okay. Well, good. Now I got one, uh, I got a piece on my contact. You know what's really good about these things I've told you guys about before, these cosmetic applicators, they're pointed on one side and flat on the other. I have a piece of pencil from the wax that came off and I have contacts on. So see that? Can you see that black spot right there? I just got that off my eyeball <laughs> with, the, with those things. Hi, hi, David. Okay, so, all right, so I did the tight lining with the black waterproof pencil, and I could do underneath too, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna use denim for that. Okay, so then, in fact, since I'm talking about it, I'll just do denim right now. Denim is a really dark, um, dark navy blue. Knock off the excess, knock it off like this, and then what you do is you just do your waterline. Now, if you guys have watery eyes, take this flat part, or uh, these are really, there's no fuzz on these, so that's why I like them, not like a Q-tip. And dry your waterline first. Dry your waterline first, and then go ahead always get into the corner to meet where the, the black tight line is. So there you go. So that's navy blue, okay? So then I am going to add some more pizzazz to my eyes. So what I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of the denim, one dot, remember I already did the smoked topaz, 
So I'm going to do one dot right there and I am going to use my fluffy brush. Where's my fluffy brush? Okay. And I'm just going to go in this corner because remember, I always do makeup for hooded eyes because I have hooded eyes. So you want the outside edge of your this part of your eye to really be accentuated and the darker part covering up because dark diminishes, it pushes back. So I want the dark right here where my overhang is because see the difference now between this eye and this eye? This eye is looking pretty darn good actually from what I can tell in my phone. Okay, so I want to maybe just add a little bit more because I do want to do a little bit dramatic. Just one more dot. These, This is so concentrated that this shadow lasts forever. Like seriously, it lasts a couple years if you use it every day. Okay. So see, now that blue is showing a little bit more. And that's what I want because I'm doing red, white, and blue makeup for patriotic, for Memorial Day. There you go. Okay, so now I want to do a really fun um, with the, see, I don't, I don't put the blue lapis, the lapis glitter, I don't put, hi, Stephanie Wall. <laughs> I don't put this um, very, very much on my eye because me being my age that I'm over 60, I don't want too much glitter, but I, I like to have a little glitter. And plus, I find that these glitter pieces, um, I don't want to get them, like I would never use this as an eyeliner because I don't want the eye, I don't want these pieces of glitter to get by my contacts, okay? And because it sticks, because it dries and stays right where you put it, you don't have to worry about that as long as you don't get it too close to your eye when it's still wet, is what I mean. So then I'm gonna put a little teeny bit of the lapis glitter, see that? Right over the top of the denim that I just did, but I need to use a different brush because I don't wanna use my brush that I use all the time for my matte shadows, for my glitter shadows, because the glitter stays in the brushes more. And so now I'm gonna put a little bit of the glitter here. There you go. And then I want to take a little bit of the platinum glitter and just do one dot right there, right above my iris. Do you see that? It's right above my iris. And I want a little bit of sparkle, but I don't want very much. Now, if you're younger, you can do a lot of sparkle. I did a girl the other day and I did the whole eye in sparkle because that's what she likes. And she was only 30, so she can wear it. She doesn't have any crepiness on her eyelids or anything. So I want to sort of blend that lapis and the platinum together right there. See that? I can't, I gotta look closer because, yeah. Okay, so that's looking, that's looking good except for I need to blend it a little bit more out here. Okay. Okay, do you see that? Okay, now I want to use denim as my eyeliner as well. And so what I do is, where's my denim that I just had? Where's my denim? Here's my denim. Okay, I use a brush that is flat and pointed. And I go really, 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 really close to them. So I just get the color right on the point of the brush. And then what I do is I go really, really close to my eyelashes, like in my lashes, basically. And I just push it on. Push it on. I don't try to draw a line. I just push it on. See it? 
Can you see that? I'm trying to get it close enough so you guys can see it. Okay. And I go over to where about three quarters of the way to where my lashes start to really thin out over here. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the denim and I'm also going to do a little bit under my eye as well, under my eyelashes. Remember, this is all about red, white, and blue, so I really want my blue in my makeup to really show. So I'm using the same brush and I'm going under my eyes and into the corner. Now, because it's forgivable, it hasn't dried yet, I can take a, that flat Q-tip and just run it along. It's not dried yet, so you can still maneuver it. There you go. Okay, so you guys, do you see the difference between this eye and this eye? Can you see it? Very good. A big difference, right? Now, that's all I'm gonna do with my shadows. So I've got, I've got um, the white and the silver and the blue, and then I'm gonna do the cheeks with cherry, and then I'm gonna show you what I'll do with that cherry that I have left over just right here, and then I'm gonna do red lips. So with the cherry blush, it's so, like I can't even tell you how so concentrated it is. Hi, Anne. So you just take a tiny, tiny, tiny dot. See that? Just a tiny dot of the cherry blush. And then what I do is I take pearlizer. Now this is the travel size pearlizer, or you can use the full size pearlizer. But I like to use the travel size for sometimes when I'm doing my makeup just because it's easier to grab some and I just sort of wipe it, um, sort of wipe it onto my finger. See that? The pearlizer is a tool. It's foundation with opalescence in it so it gives you the JLo glow. And then I just mix my color together. Mix my color together. I need a little teeny bit more cherry just because I put a lot of pearlizer on my finger. All right, so there's a little bit more cherry. Mix it around until I get this. See that color? That's what's gonna go on my cheeks. So I'm gonna put the color on my cheeks and then I am going to use my brush that I always use just for this reason. And I'm gonna go sort of in a um, angle and around at the same time and sort of get that all up into my hairline. Does that look like it's too much? I can't really tell, but I don't think so. Okay, and then when I have a little bit left, then because I wanna add just a little bit up here, I'm just gonna take one little dot on my finger that's left and I'm just gonna pat it. I don't wanna rub it because I don't want anything to be messed up that I've already done. Just see what I just did? I'm just trying to, when I put my red lips on, I'm gonna look balanced because I've got a little bit of the red up here, a little bit of the red here, and, a, and the red here. So I'm gonna look super balanced and I'm gonna look red, white, and blue. So what you do with that is you just pat it over the top of your makeup that you've already done and now you can see what that looks like. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna use the rest of this just on my, this cheek even though I'm not doing this eye, but I just wanna get rid of the, the rest of this um, pearlizer and cherry that I have. Okay, so now I'm gonna do mascara because mascara is going to be the key to make this my eyes look so much di different. And I'm gonna use primer first because the primer I kind of like to call it like stucco for your eyelashes because it really, really, really makes your lashes look thicker, but it has Capixel, it actually has a peptide in it that makes your lashes grow. And my lashes are super long compared to what they used to be because of this. And 
and it's beige color so you can see exactly where you're putting it. I gotta look in the mirror because I can't really tell what I'm doing. And I get it all the way to the corners, even those little teeny lashes in the inside corner as well. And you can do that and then all of a sudden you can see that you've got lashes there because with the naked eye sometimes, you can't see those lashes. But when you put this primer on, all of a sudden you can see those lashes in the corner. And then I put a little bit of the primer on my bottom lashes. Okay, so now what I do is after I put the primer on, this primer is like $25 and it's like so worth it. I got a little piece of something on my face. Okay, so what I normally do is let this primer dry a little bit and get a little bit transparent because remember it's beige colored. So I get it a little bit transparent and then I put the mascara on. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'll just do my lips. So always, always, always have clean, dry lips. And I don't have anything on my lips, but I'm going to use one of these cosmetic paddle applicators and dry my lips. And then I'm going to use Hurricane. Hurricane is a, a limited edition. I do have some left. Um, it's a really beautiful bright red and I thought it would be really super patriotic. And so you shake it every time you use it. Red lip color makes your teeth look so white. Now I want you to look at my teeth now. My teeth are not white. I don't have white teeth. You know when the dentist holds up all those different colors like when they're trying to do a crown? Oh my gosh, my teeth are like on the yellow side. They're not really white. What brush is this? Which brush, Megan? I'm not sure which brush you're talking about. You know, the one thing, Megan, about me is I don't care about brand names of anything. I don't really care if I have a cheap brush from Walmart that works or an expensive brush. I have both. And I don't really know the difference, but I don't think this brand, there's no brand on this because I actually bought this brush. I think that's the one you're talking about, this one. I bought this brush at the um, International Beauty Show and they had bins and bins and bins of just brushes and there's no names on them. You can actually put your own name on it because most of the salons are what buys them or estheticians. So I just bought it and it's my sticker that's on there because I don't want somebody to take my sticker if we're doing a trade show or something. I mean, I don't want my brush to get mixed up with somebody else's. So I don't know if that's the brush you're talking about, but okay. So now let me do my lip color. Now with red, I knock it off, knock off the excess. And because it's an angled brush, I show my clients to do this as well. Especially with red, you want you you want to get the lip shape first and then fill in that's what i normally do so what i do is go from corner and i separate my lips a little bit press and glide and I always go down right underneath my natural lip line because fuller lips make you look younger. Okay, and then I am going to do the same up here. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Then, you can look to see if you've got your lips even because I go outside my lip line. Because this is red, it doesn't bleed or feather either. And then I press and glide. Press and glide for the first coat. Press and glide for the first coat on the top. 
and then I'm not going to talk because I need to do, I need to concentrate for a second. Yeah, I hope you guys can see me what I'm doing. Now look how white my teeth look. Isn't that amazing? I know you don't want to wear red lipstick every day. Most people don't, or red lip color. But it really is stunning, and I'll tell you, men love, love, most men love red lips. I, the makeover I did yesterday, she said her husband loves red, but she never does wear it, so I put red on her so she could go home. And she said, oh my gosh, my husband loved this. Okay, so I'm sticky right now because I don't have the gloss on. As soon as I put the gloss on, always get it in the corner. And of course, there's no red on the gloss applicator at all. And I like to take my finger and just press it into my lips because the gloss goes right through the color. It cures the color and sets the color and gives my lip tissue the moisture that it needs. Okay, so, hi, Azure. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen your name come across here in a, like years. It's so nice to have you on. Okay, you guys, so now I've had time for my primer to dry a little bit. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put my mascara on and this mascara grows your lashes and thickens your lashes at the same time. It has Capixel in it. It's a, a safe polypeptide that grows your lashes. And this one is waterproof. The, the, the blue tube is waterproof one. And I use waterproof because I have a lot of allergies, especially now I've got hay fever because it's spring and summer. And then I use my um, my butter, Flutterfly, I think that's what it's called, Lash Shield, because I want to get, okay, I, I need to use the mirror, but I wanna show you. So what I do is go put it right here and then see my lashes right there that has the beige on there? That way I don't get any mascara on my beautiful makeup job that I just did, and I don't have to worry about smearing my makeup when I'm trying to get my mascara on. So I use the Flutterfly first to get my first really good coats on because I wanna get it all the way to the base and go up. Then the next coat, I can just do it on the edges. Okay, so it's it's really difficult for me to do this in my phone, so I'm gonna, I have to use my mirror here for a second. Okay. And see, I'm not, if you make a mistake, our mascara is forgiving as well, as long as it is wet still, but don't wipe it off, just sort of dab it off so that you don't mess up your makeup that you just did. And now you can see my lashes are starting to really show and lashes really make the difference. I used to wear lash extensions for years and I love them, but I'm telling you, and I get into the corners and get those little teeny lashes. And then do the bottom. Let me look in the mirror and see what I'm doing here. Always get the outside corner of your lashes really well. Okay, there you go. So you guys, if you were to um, look at my eye, at, at the difference between these two eyes, look at how amazing it is. Um, hi, hi. 
Okay, so, um, hi, Linda. Where do you get the Flutterfly? Um, you get it, I got it on Amazon. And I think that's what they're called. F Flutter, Flutter B, Flutter by, Flutter B Y, um, Lash Shield, I think that's what it's called. And you can get it on Amazon. And I gave these away as a free gift with purchase with the primer and the mascara. I should do that again because it was really popular. Okay, so now I'm putting my second coat of lashes on. Actually, it might be my third coat. But look at my lashes, you guys. And I didn't have lashes a couple months ago when I took my lash extensions off. And it looks like I have almost fake eyelashes on and I don't. So look at the difference between this eye and this eye. Holy cow, big difference, right? So here is the finished side and here is the unfinished side. And if you can see, I'll try to get close so you can see my eye makeup. And I'll point out exactly where I put everything again so you know. So this light sapphire I put on my eyelid first and right up under my brow. Then I took, um, what did I do next? Then I took smoke topaz and I put it in, um, not in my crease, above my crease on my overhead overhead overhanging hooded eyelid <laughs> and I put it up there okay and then I took denim shadow and where's my denim and then I took my denim shadow where's my denim there it is and then I put it in the corner I used it as my eyeliner see how close my eyeliner is because I want my lid to show because I have hooded eyes so I don't want a thick eyeliner line at all. I just want to make the shape of my lip, my eye really, really show. So I, I, you saw what I did. I dotted, basically pushed the eyeliner right into my lash line on the top. And then I put a little bit more denim out here and under on my waterline and under my lashes because I'm, I really want the blue to show because I'm doing red, white, and blue makeup. And then I took the lapis shadow which is the glitter the beautiful glitter and I just put one dot and blended it in over the top of everything else and then I took the um, the platinum the platinum glitter and I put one dot right there you see how that sparkles you guys can you see when I move in the light how it sparkles and so the goal of me doing red, white, and blue makeup, something that is patriotic and still looks like not gaudy, right? Because I'm not one of those people that likes like gaudy makeup. And then I took the cherry blush, remember with the pearlizer, and then just patted it on right on this outer corner. Just patted it on over the top of everything else I did just to bring a little bit of that red pinky color up here on the top. And that's how I did my makeup. So um, I hope you learned something. Please do that so I can order from you and then get mine because I'd like some mascara. Oh, okay. All right, Megan, I'll message you, okay? I'll message you and I'll get you um, your order of your primer and mascara. And we have non-waterproof mascara too. Some people like non-waterproof mascara. In fact, the girl that I did a makeover on yesterday, she, she liked the non-waterproof mascara better, but for my purposes, because I have allergies and I have contacts, I use the waterproof mascara. They both grow your lashes. They both thicken your lashes. And I can tell you if, you, if I look down, can you guys see if I look down what my makeup looks like? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like the way this looks? Because you can do it too. I showed you how, I showed you what colors to use, albeit, you know, that there are five shadow colors that I'm using on my eyes, but it doesn't really look like I have five shadow colors on when everything's put together. So that's what's so nice about it. Okay, so uh, Megan, I will message you, and is there anybody else that has any questions or anything? Hi, Norma White, how are you? Hi, Kayla. I'm looking at all. Oh, Frauka is uh, watching, and Ann and Lydia, 
and my daughter and Janine. I have a lot of people watching. Christy and Lori, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If I can help you with anything, if you have any questions or whatever, let me know because I'm always here to help. God bless you and have a safe, wonderful, patriotic weekend if you live in the United States because I can tell you that Memorial Day is a very special day because we honor the men and women that fought for our country, died for our country, and those men and women in uniform, and my son is in uniform as we speak today. He is a soldier and he is um, serving our country. So if you have a son or a daughter or someone in your family that's serving, make sure you send them an extra blessing this weekend and have a wonderful time. Bye-bye for now. Thanks for watching.